Okay, I'm gonna jump straight onto the video. I used this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel Cream to prep my skin. Next step, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. mineral infused face primer to fill in the place that I have most of the pores. Then, I move on to the Estee Lauder Illuminating Primer to create a good base for my skin before I apply foundation. You guys may have known my favorite foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade 2W2 Rattan. I'm just gonna put several dots on my face as usual. And then buff that into my skin. Remember to blend it to the ears and a bit on the neck. Continue with concealer. I'm gonna use my go-to concealer called Ellie Girl Pro HD Conceal. Blend that out. Oh, by the way, I have done my eyebrows off camera. Now, I'm gonna set my face using this City Color Pressed Powder to prevent all the hard work from creasing. Moving on to the eyes, I apply this light beige shade all over my eyelid as a base so that all the eyeshadow later on will be easier to blend. And then this reddish brown will go onto the crease. This step requires patience. The more you blend, the better. I'm just putting some tapes for a nice and clean finish. I'm not gonna speed up this time so that you can see my hand motion. Then, I use this light brown for a softer definition. I choose this very dark brown to define the look even more. It's like we're doing a cut crease, but not really, and not that hard, of course. Again, using the fluffy brush to blend everything together. Now I'm spraying the e.l.f. setting spray on the shader brush to apply this shimmer shade for an extra pigmentation. I'm trying to create a cut crease illusion right here, but this is way easier to achieve. Then, I apply this shimmer shade to the inner corner of the eyes. Back 
switch the dark brown color to deepen the outer V. I use this Supercat Skinny Eyeliner from Soap and Glory to line just a very thin line on my eyes as my eyes are hooded so I don't want the eyeliner to cover it all. Then I'm gonna smudge it out a bit for a softer look. Back to this reddish brown color for the lower lash line. And then dip in the outer corner with the dark brown color. I'm gonna finish the eye by applying this pearly white shade on the brow bone so that it creates an illusion of having more space between the eyes and the brows. Moving on to contour, I'm gonna use this cool brown color from the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette to contour my nose. Oh, I just put some falsies on my eyes. Use the same shade to carve out those cheekbones. I also apply it to the jawline for more definition. And then I use this banana shade to clean my contour. I choose this color to warm up my forehead. For the blush, I use this pink shade from the Morphe 9B palette. You must be careful with this palette because a little does go a long way. Highlighting my nose bridge because it doesn't even exist. And then I'm gonna mix this to highlight color for the highest point of my cheekbones. I'm gonna blind it to the guard. like such. Also apply it to the cupid's bow so that the lipstick will be more appealing. Today, I'm gonna use a mauve pink liquid lipstick. This is from Korea. I love the formula of this lipstick because my lips are the driest of the dry lips, but it works well on me. I do not have any problem with it. But I have to note that the smell is kind of strong. I apply it using a brush to line my lips and then clean it with the concealer.
Last but not least, spraying my face with the e.l.f. setting spray to lock my makeup in and also make every product sink in through your skin. I just put some extra gems here and uh, because you know I love gems and I also put mascara in the lower lash and um, yeah that is the complete look now I'm gonna show you uh, which hairstyle and earrings that you can suit for this uh, makeup look so um, I use this earrings right here it's like kind of a loop shape and to show that uh, you have to have a ponytail so I made a messy ponytail um, and I love it this is my go-to look right now for the outfit if you want a younger look you can wear a short swing dress with ankle boots I find this really fit me because I can dance comfortably in this outfit guys I have some tips for life for you um, because I know on that day you're gonna have lots of flashlight lots of dancing so uh, I have this two shimmer mist they give you pleasant scent and uh, yeah you're just gonna rock that party and they have some shimmer so who doesn't love it when the skin is moisturized um, this, this the scent is gonna stay with you for a long time I often choose this depends on the weather that day if it's like um, it depends on the temperature of the, the weather or anything that day so if it's like cold I'm gonna choose say this one is called um, warm and cozy um, but if it's like very um, hot and yeah it's very hot and much just fresh and clean but today um, I'm gonna choose this warm and cozy because it's my favorite of all time you can spray it onto your skin give you a very nice shimmer I don't know if the I don't know if the camera picks up but anyway I hope it picks up but it's a kind of a subtle glow if you can see it yeah and the smell is amazing and for the curly babes out there I have some hair tips for you to keep the curl for all night long um, this one is the argan oil I will link where I got it down below I will use this just a tad bit warm it up on your hand and then apply to your hair in this motion The thing about this oil, uh, at first you might not be um, familiar with the the scent, but um, afterwards it's gonna be fine because when it it leaves your hair a very nice, classy scent. This can also um, prevent breakouts for the hair, so your hair will stay stronger. Or for a classy look, I wear this long dress with some pearl earrings. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click the like and subscribe button down below so you will not miss my next video. So uh, stay tuned. See you in my next video.